Howdy folks, um, as you can probably tell by my less than immaculate appearance, I have just climbed out of bed. And the reason I've just climbed out of bed is because somebody was at the door. <laughs> With stuff. Actually, it was just that one, that one, and that one. So I set the video camera up just to give you a quick, oh my god, look what arrived today. And then the doorbell went again, and this one arrived. <laughs> So I, I have no idea which one I'm going to open first. Obviously I'm going to open all four of them right now, but um, I'll be putting the videos up one at a time. Right now I need to go and grab a shower and get a cup of coffee. So we'll be right back. Right, um, I'm going to do this one first. And purely and simply because I'm getting, I'm getting a bit worried because this isn't what I ordered. This has come from Figurine, Corre uh, Figurine Collector France, and I ordered uh, the DC Bombshells Harley Quinn. And what seems to have come from them, which is cool, but it ain't what I asked for, is the Walking Dead TV show Daryl Dixon, 10 inch figure. At least that's what it says on the outside of the box. So, uh, what do you think of that, Boo? Boo doesn't think. He waits. So we're going to get this opened and see exactly what it is. This could be a very, very short unboxing video. You got the door, boo. I'm going in. People have been asking, uh, this is a, it's a replica US M3 trench knife issued to elite special, uh, elite units in World War II. Rangers airborne, mostly. It's a very, very similar to the US Marine Corps Kabar knife. I've probably mispronounced that. K-bar? I don't know. Uh, but it's not exactly the same. So there you go. I got this from the War and Peace show last year. Right, moment of truth. Let's find out what the hell this actually is. I mean, I wouldn't mind having a figure of Daryl Dixon from The Walking Dead, but that ain't what I ordered. So let's find out. I do need a knife for that. There we go. Well packed. It is what I ordered. I just used a different box. Oh, that's a relief. Because this is £134. And again, it's a statue, not a figure. So there it is, that's uh, this is my second Harley Quinn statue, which again is weird considering I have never once played any of the video games or read any of the comics featuring this character. This is from the DC Bombshells collection. Um, and basically it's 1940s style interpretation of various different DC characters, female characters, obviously hence the name Bombshells. And this one's Harley Quinn. So packaging time, I'll get you a close up. Okay, there's the packaging. Um, picture of the model on the front top you've got a, a sort of stylized Harley Quinn logo there on this side it's a very nice that's the actual figure itself rather than a painting so there's that on the rear uh, some examples well Harley at the top and then some examples of a couple of the other figures from the DC bombshells you've got Batgirl and Poison Ivy depicted here but there are others there's Wonder Woman, Supergirl, Black Canary, and then another little Harley Quinn painting on that side. So, that's the packaging. Alright, there she is. Um, don't have a turntable to mount her on, so I'm going to do this the old mandrolic way. Give you a full view of the figure. And then we'll close in for some close-ups. I've already noticed a few details on here that are really impressive. Uh, starting with, you know, we may as well just get this out of the way right at the start. Okay, ready? There it is. All right, everybody happy? There's the money shot. But have a look at the detailing on the back of the jacket. That joke is wild. That's really, really good. Also, down here, 
The little Joker playing card in the top of the stockings. That's really nice. And also, hanging off the bottom of the magazine of a pistol, there's the little good luck charm. You know, it's covered in little pieces of attention to detail like that. I really do like this figure. The face is just fantastic. Let's try to ensure this stays in focus. There she is. And straight away it fails to stay in focus. Come on, focus down you. There it is. That's really, really good. It's just so lifelike. And of course detail like the aviation goggles on the top of the head. And I like what they've done with her hair. The, the way that it's sort of like a little bunny girl sort of thing with the pigtails. And then of course the detailing on the body. You may notice, if this thing will ever stay in focus, let's pull it back a little, hit autofocus, zoom in. There. It looks like she's stolen Batman's belt. <laughs> Which is kind of appropriate. Detailing on the stockings, the socks and the boots. And then the base. So there she is, Harley Quinn from the DC Bombshells collection. I really like this model. don't know if it was worth £134, but I'm not sorry I've got it. So there's Harley with the rest of the girls. Um, I think I prefer her to the Arkham City Harley, and she was slightly more expensive. In fact, I think I'd go as far as to say that I think that DC Bombshells Harley Quinn figure is probably the favourite of all five. Uh, your opinion may, of course, vary. I just think there's something really appealing about that whole 1940s Second World War propaganda poster style look. I might have to get some of the other DC bombshells figures. Oh, more money spent. Anyway, that's it for this video. There are, of course, another three still to open, so that's going to keep me busy. Catch you next time, folks. Bonus time. Yeah, I know this is a bit weird. Uh, this is Ken. Ken's going to be a Stormtrooper, and I thought that since the Stormtrooper armour is arriving any day now, I may as well get this out of the way quickly, uh, while Ken is still undressed. This is a jacket that I bought uh, at Forbidden Planet in Newcastle upon Tyne in the early 90s. Shortly around, well around the time Alien 3 came out. It's a Peachtree Productions limited edition Alien 3 collector's jacket. It's uh, leather and silk. It cost me £80 back in the early 90s. So yeah, I have had it that long. The badges that are sewn onto it. You see there you've got the Wayland yutani logo. A little Alien 3 badge there on this arm. United States Colonial Marine Screaming Eagle. And on this arm Sure, how well you can see that. The US CSS Nostromo uh, mission patch. It's silk lined and uh, I still wear this today. Um, this is apparently really, really rare. I, I know that there are people who collect aliens memorabilia and they're desperate to get their hands on one of these things. Um, so, you know, that's nice. And uh, in a couple of days, Ken here is going to be transformed into a Stormtrooper. So, uh, looking forward to that. Take care, folks.